Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Clinton Friends. I'm Joshua and joining me today once again is Mr. Josh Cook. Josh, how are you doing today? I'm good, Josh. You? Doing good. Did you have a good Memorial Day weekend? I did. I did. A nice relaxing long weekend. Good, good, good. So today I got questions from my fellow co-workers here at the plant. Okay, great. So I asked them, I'm not going to say who asked what questions. I want to let you kind of maybe figure out who it is and all that. But okay. first question is this. Is our jerky packaged by a machine? Uh, so it is not. Um, it is not. We at one time packaged with a machine um, and have since sold that machine. That was years back. Um, it just didn't produce the product the way we wanted it to produce. Um, we like the piece size that we have. Our, our jerky is in, in a little bigger pieces than what, uh, say, a lot of jerkies are that, uh, that are commercially available. And um, it made the machine angry um, to package our bigger piece sizes, um, and it made it it made it um, we, we ended up fighting it a lot. And so the the machine manufacturer's suggestion was to to go to a, a smaller size. Um, they they really wanted us to be down um, a similar in size to like a Frito, and um, the the piece size was just going to be too small for us. Uh, that was going to change our product too much, and so. Um, that machine got a, a new home in El Paso and we went back to doing it by hand. Um, the old, the old fashioned assembly, assembly line style way. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, speaking of packaging by hand, so we pack it by hand. Who is the number one packager at this plant? Um, as and far as, as far as jerky packagers, don't me. Do not as far me. as jerky packagers go, uh, probably the, the fastest packager we have is, is the team leader in that room, Araceli. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think, I don't think there's, there's many people that could, uh, package it as fast as she, she can. Um, we had a, we had a, another guy that, that works across the street now, Raul. He was a, he was a fast packager. Um, over the years, there's, there's been some, some people that come through and some people just have a, 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 a more natural, cadence and more natural speed to, to being able to handle it um, but it is it's it's something that uh, with practice a lot of people can get good at it but uh, it, it does take some practice and Araceli was just featured recently as employee of the week on our Facebook page she was that. she was yeah so Araceli is awesome I've been trying to get her on the video here but uh, she's she just, she's real shy she's real, she's real shy. shy she's real shy but if you want to see who packages the jerky the best here at the plant you can look on our Facebook page and see Araceli. She is an amazing boss to work for at, in there. Yeah, absolutely. So, our jerky, you, you, we pride ourselves on our jerky. We do. We do. So, what makes our jerky so different and unique versus, say, a national brand of jerky? So, so some of it goes into what we what we started that conversation with, which is the the uh, the hand packaging. Um, all of our jerky is is laid on laid on screens by hand. Um, it is it is packaged by hand. There's a lot of uh, personal personal care that goes into each bag of our jerky uh, that that maybe some of the big the big um, plants don't have. Um, as well as as well as our we have a we have a pretty unique set of flavors. So a lot of these a lot of these big national brands uh, you'll find if you if you flip the back of their jerky over. Um, first ingredient, beef, second ingredient, maybe water, um, but probably sugar. Um, and then after beef, water, and sugar, then, then comes other ingredients. Um, and the reason they do that is because, um, sugar is, is something that you can't cook out of, of jerky. Um, you put a pound of sugar in at the beginning, you're going to get a pound of sugar out at the end. Um, and so it, I mean, compared, compared to the price of jerky, the price of sugar is significantly less. Um, so every pound of sugar you can put in it cheapens your cheapens your final product out. And so those national brands, they're selling. There's more beef than sugar, but they're they're uh, they're they're one step away from being a being a candy candy manufacturer um, because that that is that is why that is why all those big national brands their jerky is so sweet um, is so that they can they can sell you some sugar. Uh, our jerkies we have some with some sugar, but if we're putting sugar in, it's, it's more of a taste thing, less of a, let's make a really cheap product kind of thing. Um, and then we have a lot of jerkies that don't have sugar added to them at all. Um, white label obviously doesn't, it only has four ingredients. Um, and then uh, black label doesn't have any added sugar. Um, 
really, really most of our jerkies don't have a lot of added sugar. Teriyaki, what is, is normally a really sweet jerky for most people, ours is more of a garlicky teriyaki, less of a less of a sweet. It's got mm-hmm. a little sweet, but not not anything compared to, to what the national brands may may produce. Um, so we uh, we do we we try to have flavors that are distinctive as well as um, maybe maybe a little better for you and, and better in general. Uh, is kind of what we hope sets us apart. Mm-hmm. I uh, regret buying some national brand jerky for my road trip that I took over Memorial Day. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was good, but it just, it, it was too, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Maybe overprocessed. Um, that's chewy. Too yeah. chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that, uh, that those, that those national companies can also add that, um, it acts as kind of a, a, a tenderizer, um, so they can use a, a cheaper cut of meat, add kind of a, a tenderizer to it, and um, still have a tender jerky when they get done. Well, the reason it's tender is because there was a chemical tenderizer in there. Um, so there's there's some there's some tips and tricks that people have have learned to, to do over the years um, that kind of. I'm not gonna say it deceives the customer because maybe that's what you like, but it's mm-hmm. it's that's just know on a national brand if there's something they're putting in there, there's a reason. Mm-hmm. So we are true, honest jerky. We try to be. We try to be honest in everything that we do. We we uh, we make jerky for the the taste and the the quality, um, and then look at the price after we get the recipe the way we want it as opposed to starting with the price in mind and then working the recipe to fit that price perfect perfect josh our like i said our questions came from my fellow co-workers here right but we would love to have some more user submitted questions if you would like to uh submit a question to us all you have to do is email us at ask at clintonsons.com and if we read your question on air we'll get you a free bag of jerky to you and all that and we'd love to have your questions it doesn't have to be about jerky it could be about cuts of beef it could be about fundraising it could be about anything yeah um next week i'm going to be on vacation so i'm going to be gone um a stand-in for me will be uh jennifer wilson is going to be here um she is our team leader in uh raw packaging our raw raw production um, raw, raw, pra- not, well, they also do raw packaging, but yeah, no, raw. Uh, raw, raw production. So if you have any questions on making sausage, on uh, making snack sticks, um, any, anything in particular about that, send them in and, and we'll make sure Jennifer gets your questions answered. Uh, she, uh, she'll be excited to be here. And then, uh, the week that I get back, um, I have a, I have a little plan on, uh, we're going to, we're going to try something, a little change in format. Um, and, uh, so that'll be a surprise to everyone, including Josh, because I haven't told him about it either yet. So. This is the first time I'm hearing of it. So yeah. thanks, Josh. I really appreciate <laughs> it. Well, I do appreciate you having you here on the show once again and all that. And I hope you enjoy your vacation next week. I, uh, I hope so. I hope so. We're going to, uh, the beach, um, trying to get to the beach before it gets too hot to go to the beach. Um, so we're, we're going here first part of June. Perfect. Well, again, thank you very much for being on the show, and thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next week with our guest, uh, Jennifer Wilson. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.